So only our second time going down to Darlington. But we've done extensive research. So hopefully Amen. we go down there, God willing, we go down there, secure the property. And then we're gonna exercise something to buy refurbish, refinance. Um I'll talk about that a bit later. Break that down a little bit. But yeah, basically it's a long process. I'm gonna really see if we're able to do that. But yeah, stay tuned. I got Mumsy stepping in Gucci, cause she could only cut me gola. I might just try sushi, came a long way from my black grape soda. Two boxes of bud in a hoopsie. Rude boy, I don't know about Yola. My OG, one month old, see back with a Daytona. Okay, so basically, we just touched down in Darlington. Gonna go see this uh, one property that we've been looking at for some time. Done a lot of research on this property, like I said, so we've got all the comparables. So basically, what we just need to do is, uh, we're not doing any other properties, we're seeing this one. I'm gonna meet the builder down there and just look through all the stuff that we need to get done. Let him know our ideas and let him know, and he will let us know what he thinks that he can do as well. Mm. On top of that, um, hopefully we get a quote so we know how much it's going to cost us mm. so we can fit that into our overall plans. Um, we'll let the, we're probably going to let the estate agent know what our offer is today. We're going to try and get it below market value. So um, we're looking at anything from, we, can, we, we already know that we can get it five, five grand before below market value. But we're looking to see if we can stretch that to around the 10, 12 mark so it gives us some um, breathing space for the project that we're about to take on. So yeah, um, in a little bit I'll show you exactly what we're looking at and you'll see the condition as I'll see the condition for the first time. Because remember we've only seen this on right move as well so yeah, hopefully it's a good surprise. Yeah, good on the kids, eh? <laughs> Shut the door quickly. Okay, 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 I apologize. I will show you guys the inside of this property, the costs, as well as the ups and downs of the whole journey. But I just want to interrupt really quickly. While this is actually part one of this video, there is an introductory video, and this is especially important for the new viewers that don't understand what BRRR investment strategy is. Now, if you check the link above, you will see that I've done a clear video explaining this theory in full. The reason why I'm mentioning that is because in this particular video, I'm not gonna go through the theory that much. We are up in Darlington viewing a house that we found on Rightmove and it was listed on Rightmove for 55,000. It's a two bedroom house. And at the time that we viewed the property, it had been on Rightmove for six months in total. Now the bulk of the theory actually comes from a video that I watched on YouTube by Samuel Leeds. No, I have not been on any of his courses, but the theory on that video was really good. Now, now what it is, they call them no money down deals or deals where you pull out all of your deposit and all of the money that you initially invested, meaning that you essentially get a house for free. Well, at Bricks with Tips, you know that we test theory and we do significant research. So watch us put our money at risk so you guys can learn about this investment strategy. I guess we can go back to our scheduled program. So basically, this is uh, where we're going to start. Um, basically, just a standard. It's quite a small one, isn't it? So it should be okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, probably even less than what I was actually on the phone. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it'd be. That's why I was quite happy. So. Um, See, oh, is, is that definitely a radio? Oh, is it a boiler? It's not a boiler. Huh? It can't be a boiler. It's, a bit, it's more like it to be a radio. Right? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure where the boiler yeah, is. Yeah, well. <laughs> so basically, we're, we're probably looking to rip everything out of here, basically. Um, yeah. We're probably going to get new lighting as well. So yeah. we'll probably get spotlights in there, uh, down lights in there, sorry. And then we'll just get the standard vinyl flooring and the, and the units as well. Um, also, just through here, um, classic. <laughs> Obviously, all the drainage and the yeah. So yeah, everything, water supply, everything. So you would like to utilize that? It makes sense to utilize it. Yeah. Right? So I'm thinking, um, would it be possible to jo uh, join these two? Yeah, but there's no reason because that'd be the coal, wouldn't it? Storage. Uh, not the storage. Used to, used to have the. Yeah. See what it is. 
in the olden days. Whatever you want to make yeah, it out, yeah. you can. So we're thinking to make it into a bathroom, basically, so into a toilet, sink, and bathroom. Yeah. And then obviously. Funny enough, actually, so we're doing the one on here now. That, uh, yeah. Oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's the oh, same okay. thing. Yeah. And then we'll the same thing. The, the only thing is, we'd have to spruce up this place as well. Yeah. If we're going to do that. You can board this up and. Yeah, just board it up and just make it. Get this level. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bring yeah. it to the same level as that, so you don't yeah. have to. Oh, okay, you can bring it to the same level as that. Yeah, yeah. Bring yeah. it yeah. yeah. to the same level. It'll be easier. It'll be higher that way, but it's better to be higher to stop any. Because that's what that concrete lintel is there to stop the water coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you bring this the same height, then yeah. it stops any damp and any, yeah. any climbing into your property. Cool, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 they're built to last. Yeah. Yeah, that's electric radius, that one. Yeah. yeah. So, so, to modernise the property as well, what we're looking to do is um, a majority of the light switches as well. Yeah. Um, the light switches, the plug sockets. Really also, is. um obviously that yeah take that off yeah. yeah take that off take that design off what's going on there so the ceiling has been boarded oh has it yeah i just caught that as well yeah can you see that yeah i can see it there as well it's got potential yeah so we're thinking paint we'll probably have to keep the whole idea of um so we probably strip the wallpaper paint and then probably put new wallpaper here the boiler or all the electric radiators yeah that's so what is that there's no central heating No. There's one. By the look of it, no? Okay. Oh, you have to double check. Oh, yeah? So, um, this is uh, It's going to be the... Uh, living room. We're going to try and make oh, this into there. a bedroom. Not the shower. Uh -huh. Don't touch this one. This one, they don't look like any drama, but the original ceiling tiles like that used to contain asbestos. Okay. But looking at this one, I don't think they are. You're good to start like popping it. Yeah, it's buckled, isn't it? See, this is what they used to do. They used to board them. Or they used to put this particular one to stop the so they couldn't see the cracks. Yeah. Just to cover the cracks. And this is one of the things they used to do. Yeah. But if it's really old, it definitely contains those vessels. Well, original. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want that here, all you do is just take that off. There you go. Two screws there. Yeah. Pull this. Back of it. Skew it. How common is that? Do you find that in houses nowadays? Because it's what the guy said to spend the age of the houses sometime they just never bothered mm. yeah. to get a gas supply and that's it. Left it to it. Obviously, it would have been. They might have it down there, you know. Mm. What downstairs? Yeah, there might. It could be a gas point. You could ask him. Is that his house, the fellow's house? No, it's his son's. Oh, yeah, you could do ask him and see if there is a gas point because sometimes the combi boilers and all that becomes more. Yeah. Yeah. on top of it. Same roof as well. That's the same, yeah. yeah. So they'll be the same as that. Yeah, okay. they just they've just done it. Oh of course. There yeah, you can see it's bottom in there. Polystyrene. And usually like when you're doing your jobs, how long would you say the time to go away? It depends what you wanna to do to this really. Okay. It literally how you wanna good it, what you wanna yeah. I would go away and think about it. obviously yeah. you've got a video, you know exactly where it is and then you can Send that out and give him an email address and just say this is what we need, or you're on WhatsApp, whichever. Okay, is fair yeah. And then see, and obviously work out what's what. Yeah. Make sure everything goes through all right. Simple. Okay. And then just you make a decision when you want to do it. So there you have it, guys. That is the viewing concluded. Now, as mentioned before, at the time of recording, I didn't know that these videos were going to be for YouTube. So I do agree the quality of the videos could be better. Nonetheless, this is just the beginning of the project and we're going to get into the nitty gritty of it. Before we do, it's important to talk about the refurbs. Now, as you can see, the property's got a lot of potential and there's a lot of things that we could have done. A lot of things did cross our mind. We thought about um, a bathroom in the lean-to or a toilet in the lean-to. We also thought about putting an ensuite in the master bedroom. We actually thought about making the kitchen and the dining room into an open plan kitchen diner. However, when doing refurbs for a BRRR or just your standard flip of a property, there's two main things to remember. The first is, and it's one that you have to keep reminding yourself 
You want to add the most value at the lowest cost. This means that you need to pick tactically the work that you want to get done. You don't want to do everything. The next point is very similar. However, you need to think a bit deeper about this one. You need to always remember that you're not refurbing the property to your taste. You're refurbing the property either so it's suitable to rent or it's got a plain palette if you want to sell. This means that you don't want to start painting a room blue because that's your color or brown or essentially you don't want to start making things suitable for your taste. You want to make it as open to as many people as possible. So without further ado, what work did we decide to do on this property? I'm going to upload the quote for you guys, but there's also some things that the builder did which he didn't put on the quote, such as recarpet the whole house and repaint the whole house. As well as that, we're going to get gas central heating put in the whole property and add seven radiators. We're also going to redo the whole kitchen because the kitchen is a selling point of any house. Price wise, we are going to save this for part two. So I'm not going to reveal how much this costs. And there is a reason for this. We don't have time for it right now. In part two, I'm going to go into the nitty gritty of all of the costs. I'm talking legal costs, refurb costs. I'm going to tell you what our deposit is. I'm going to show you how we finance this deal because I, we don't have the cash to buy the house out, right? So we need to finance it. And we went through various different options and I'm going to explain all of that. This is the bit where it's going to get really, really interesting. Also in part two, I'm going to show you guys live footage of the negotiation on the price of this property. Now, as I mentioned, it was listed for 55,000 and we're trying to get as much money off it as possible. And then finally, I'm going to show you guys my BRRR tool. That's correct. My buy, refurb, refinance, rent tool. Now, I'm telling you guys already, this was not possible without my tool. When I talk about research and planning, the tool that I created allows you to do all of that. You will literally plug in all of the figures and it will tell you if the deal is viable or not. So I'll show you guys that as well. But for now, thank you for tuning into Bricks with Tips. Once again, please subscribe if you're not subscribed and definitely, definitely come back for part two because part two will be better than part one.